Marcy Wheeler. Marcy Wheeler, known on Twitter by the handle Empty Wheel, is an American independent journalist specializing. Wheeler publishes on her own site, Empty Wheel, established in July 2011. She has reported on United States v. Libby, the trial of I. Louis Scooter Libby, and the investigation of President Donald Trump's possible connections to Russia, among other national security matters. Early life. Wheeler grew up with parents who worked for IBM. Wheeler graduated with a BA from Amherst College in 1990. With an interest in the way businesses use language, Wheeler spent the next five years in corporate consulting, specifically teaching employees to compose large documents. She moved to an arbor, Michigan, from her native New York City for graduate school in 1995. In 2000, she earned a Ph. D. in Comparative Literature from the University of Michigan, writing her dissertation on the Fueletin, a literary journalistic essay form that is often self-published. In her online prologue to Anatomy of Deceit, she observes that the Fueletin essay is an important medium for expressing opinions which might ordinarily be censored due to government displeasure, citing recent examples, such as former Czechoslovakian dissident, and former Czech President Vaclav Havel. Career, Rur. Wheeler makes occasional contributions to the commentary and analysis section of The Guardian, Daily Kos, The Huffington Post, Democracy Now!, and Michigan Liberal. Between early December 2007 and July 2011, Wheeler published primarily on Jane Hampshire's Fire Dog, Lake FDL, and prior to that on The Next Hooray. Many of Wheeler's 2007 blog entries at the next hurry focused on the congressional hearings into the dismissal of AQS, attorneys subsequent to the November 2006 U.S. midterm election. During United States v. Libby, the trial of I. Louis Scooter Libby, Wheeler reported on the testimony as one of the few press-accredited bloggers allowed in the courtroom. In her account, she describes her entries as not a transcript. Nevertheless, such bloggers' eyewitness accounts served as sources of reliable information about the trial for readers. In his column-slash-blog White House Watch, published in Washington Post, com, Dan Frunken cited the efforts of Firedog Lake in live blogging the Libby trial as essential reading page 3. During the trial, she appeared on camera in video reports posted online on Politics TV, com, along with other accredited Libby trial blogger correspondents such as Talk Left creator Geraldyn Merritt and FDL creator Jane Hampshire and FDL principal blogger Christy Hardin-Smith. Wheeler held an unpaid, part-time position as senior policy analyst at The Intercept for several months after its February 2014 launch. She has described that period as a chaotic time and said that working there was a pain in the ass. In particular, she came into conflict with editor-in-chief John Cook, who refused to pay for her work and expertise, was reluctant to publish what she believed was an important surveillance story, and excluded her from the first meeting of all staff reporters which she construed as Cook's opinion that she was not a worthy journalist. Consequently, she resigned. Wheeler became a witness in special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of President Donald Trump's possible connections to Russia after outing one of her sources to the FBI in 2017. Wheeler stated that she had concrete evidence he was lying to her and that her source was doing serious harm to innocent people. She campaigned for Democratic presidential candidate Howard Dean in 2004 and is a former vice chairwoman of the Washtenaw County Democratic Party. Anatomy of Deceit. Wheeler's reputation as a blogger stems from her analysis of the outing of the covert CIA identity of Valerie E. Wilson, also known as Valerie Plame, and the Bush administration's justification for 2003 invasion of Iraq and the Iraq War. Several of her posts led to follow-up stories in the mainstream media. As their first book publication by FDL Books, Vaster Books, in order to have Marcy Wheeler's work seen by a larger audience, Fire Dog Lake and Daily Cost jointly published her book on the CIA leak scandal, entitled Anatomy of Deceit, How the Bush Administration Used the Media to Sell the Iraq War and Out a Spy 
on January 28, 2000. Related media articles and interviews. Due to her extensive research about the outing of Valerie Plame and her coverage of the Libby trial, as a blogger, Wheeler was a guest on NPR Talk of the Nation. Wheeler was interviewed by online media outlets such as The Raw Story. Amy Goodman interviewed her along with Murray Waz on the radio program Democracy Now! And she was also a special guest at the Daily Cost Yearly Cost Convention fundraiser in New York City on March 10, 2007. Awards System Wheeler received a 2009 Sidney Hillman Foundation Journalism Award in the blog category cited for her body of work, including 2009 coverage of the auto industry crisis and the evolution of G.W. Bush administration justification and practice of torture, so-called enhanced interrogation technique. Personal Life Wheeler is married to an engineer.